Ladies and gentlemen, the brave police are on the scene. Mobilizing from the HLJ precinct, this is Super Robot Chogokin's take on Jay Decker, the Yusha of Seigi from 1994's entry in the Brave series. Taking the slightest of liberties for the sake of Chogokin beef, SRC J. Decker is otherwise a love letter to Sunrise's animation model. The lines of the sculpt are bold, strong, and angular, with bright and clean blocks of color filling out every space they are meant to occupy. The sheer oomph of the bright white and red against black and gold is a joy for the eyes. There's also a great use of translucent plastic for the red siren bars on J. Decker's shoulders and helmet. In fact, his head sculpt is really tight overall, lacking only a little bit of panel fill to fully define his facial lines. This figure totally does not transform and uses that aspect to hugely enhance its appearance, but I like the hints of that old gimmick in the police car chest plate, the navy cockpit windows on his shoulders, and the lovely blue along the back of his wings, because th that was the ceiling of the trailer deal. Being of Bandai Tamashi blood, this J Decker's got a pleasant array of accessories. If you're tired of fists, you can switch in some calmly ready open hands, looking somewhere between relaxed and preparing to persecute perps with prejudice. He's also got a pair of hands designed to hold his giant super robot extendable police beat stick. It's a simple accessory which slides into J Decker's palms easily. It doesn't retract, but surely we can all see what kind of structural instability that would cause at this scale i.e. it would be as thin as a straw, and not the cool swirly pink kind. Another pair of gripping hands are shaped to grip the trigger of the J-Buster, which comes in both handgun and rifle modes. Two separate accessories for what is essentially a flip-out gun barrel? Yeah, it's a little much, but after a day of frowning, I realized that erasing the hinge makes for a much cleaner gun sculpt in either mode. The final hand option is a left hand that is heroically pointing, showing that J. Decker went to the same school of index finger enforcement as robotic supermen like Optimus Prime. The last errant piece of plastic in the box is this little undercrotch pelvis clip, which adds a hole between J. Decker's legs that can receive the peg of a Tamashi stage. This way you can make him look like he's flying. Woo! The original Jay Decker was not really a brick. I mean, he had elbows and shoulders and, um... Uh... So this SRC Jay Decker does a whole lot more, and he does a hell of a lot, and I'm going to try to be as terse as I can while showing all of it, because there's so much. He's got a ball joint at the top of his neck, and a ball joint at the base of his neck, and uh, the range is pretty much perfect. His shoulders, the shoulder pads can get up out of the way if you want them to. You don't have to. Uh, get them out of the way, but the choice is there. Underneath here, there is a uh, universal joint that goes forwards and backwards. Um, this chest piece can actually fold forward out of the way, so you can then use the specially built extending forward shoulder joint to have his arms come over this way as well. Uh, he's got a bicep swivel, he's got a, an elbow joint here that cuts into the rectangle of his forearm, and then if you turn his elbow this way and swivel this thing this way, now he's got a double elbow joint that can curl up super tight. Uh, the actual line art has the upper arm oriented like this with this kind of gouge here, so I like that the, the option is there, and if you do have it this way, you, you can tilt this in a little bit to have a bit of an uh, or a natural arm curve. His wrists are attached with ball joints that leave enough room to have them wiggle around as well as turn. The instructions say you can do this, and I can, I can get it to work sometimes. He's got an, an ab joint uh, that can uh, tilt forward and backwards a little bit, but you can also uh, pull this in a way that extends it, but I'm not entirely sure if that does a whole lot. Either way, uh, there are ways to get this guy to, you know, fold forward and backwards at his uh, midsection. His wings can flap. That's a good time. And uh, they also actually come off pretty easily. <laughs> this is how they are in the packaging. So if you do need to check things in there, you can just remove the wings and put them back on afterwards. He also has a uh, ball joint at the waist, so there's a ball joint and a ball joint. Good times. All this hip plate skirt stuff is uh, jointed. It's, it's not just ball jointed, it is just like jointed. And I'm not sure how to put it any better, but it's all really good at getting out of the way of whatever you're doing. His uh, hips, they are on uh, a, a, just a huge assembly of joints that basically give you whatever range of motion you want. And then if, if you uh, want to get all SH fig arts, you can also extend them down a little bit so that the uh, 
base of the hip is down here, so you can have him do uh, stuff like sitting down and whatnot, and uh, have a little bit less hindrance from his already quite accommodating skirt armor. And uh, you can see here, like, the, the joint is just all these... It's not just a ball joint, it is a bunch of different pieces that all work in tandem. It's wonderfully designed. Uh, and there's, of course, a thigh swivel. Uh, the knee can bend, or it can really bend. And what I love is, check this out, when you're bending it, like, this plate is sliding to maintain the look of the detail and to, to kind of have a cool mechanical action. And then when you bend the lower knee joint, stuff starts moving around there as well. So, this is just a gorgeous mechanical knee. And I love it. And I got a tweet. His ankles uh, can tilt a little bit. They can uh, wiggle around. But hey, you know what? Maybe I want to tilt it some more. Oh, look, you can extend it out. And now you get, like, ludicrous tilt. You can have this thing... I've said this before, you can have it do whatever you want. Uh, and uh, this, what's kind of cool is the uh, the ball of the ball socket joint the ankle is on is actually a metal ball. So, uh, yo, Cho Goken. There's Goken on this guy. There's, there's metal in his joints, his feet are die cast, and maybe there's another piece of metal in here somewhere, but it's primarily the feet and a lot of the joint work. And I think that's a, that's a great way to do things on a... Uh, pleasantly sized robot figure like this. So, Jay Decker's posability is pretty much a top notch for a dude who has so much potential hindrance because none of it gets in the way. So, uh, A plus, Jay Decker. Brave it up and arrest the middle class. Jay Decker is the basic yet total package of an SRC toy. Strong sculpt, clean paint, and sturdy die-cast content. He has a very simple accessory loadout covering all the basics and little else. A small to scale Utah figure would have been a great cherry on top. But other than that, SRC J Decker is a well-built toy with great posability and a production quality that oozes with a clear love for the Yusha legend that ran its tapestry through the final decade of the 20th century. This is an easy recommendation to J Decker and Brave fans. In fact, if you're one of those, I'm surprised you've been waiting for any kind of go-ahead to grab this. As for general robot collectors and SRC aficionados, this is still highly recommended. J Decker's a great addition to any SRC collection, any robot shelf, and any spotlight in the sea of stars whose oath of bravery must be upheld. Anyway, this has been Internet Personality Vangelis, and every time someone customizes a classic J Decker toy into some kind of Prowl variant from Transformers, I feel a small sad.